Hello and welcome to the Free Morning Guide to Zen Sounds. Uh, I think you recognize that sound maybe from some song from the 80s most likely. Today I would like to show you how to do analog processing on the Emo Emacs rack sampler. As you can see I have the rack version and there is this GoTech floppy emulator which is really a must have if you're using this uh, in a sort of modern music making environment. I can really load up just about any sound from um, all the libraries also save my own sounds very easily. And of course, you always have these Depeche Mode discs if you want to play Shake the Disease or, you know, Black Celebration or anything like that. This sound is called Liquid Stack. It's a classic uh, from, I think, the old emulator library. So it's quite rich uh, as a starting point for uh, filtering. So let's do that. Let's go to the analog processing. Then we could start by going to the uh, VCA, ADSR, perhaps. And uh, we can start by changing the attack. So now it's sort of a string sound instead. And we can do some release, we can increase the release. Kind of neat. Uh, let's do something else. Let's change the filter a bit. So we go to filter setup. As you can see, it's quite easy. We have we have a couple of uh, we have like envelope and we have key follow, and we have of course Q emphasis resonance. One unfortunate factor here is that you cannot play and lower it at the same time and hear the effect. I mean, it is an analog chip, so I guess it's something to do with the with ADCs. The microprocessor control how that works with the interface, but we can do it like with controllers, I think. Let's, let's try this. Yeah, we can keep them. sheen to it. Let's increase the resonance. Something's happening there, right? It's basically uh, almost self-resonating. Let's, um, let's remove the filter envelope. to the resonance at max and there's a lot of interesting harmonics going on. It's a bit more normal sounding down here. One interesting thing we can also do here is to, uh, let's increase the cutoff a bit. Is we can um, use the quite powerful LFO to do a lot of interesting things actually. Uh, so let's go to LFO setup. Uh, so we have it's a reasonably fast rate actually. Let's let's pop it up to maximum and have some delay. Yeah. Have some delay. If we set this to maximum, there's a huge range of uh, different rates actually. So we, let's let's try the extremes, so to speak. <laughs> now we need to uh, send the LFO somewhere. LFO two, very self-explaining. Of course, we have vibrato. Can use that. Let's just just now. There's a delay. Just remember that. So let's do maximum. But what I find quite interesting here is the tremolo effect. It's really 
cool this time. Meaning, of course, that it bond lays the VCA volume up and down. Uh, unfortunately, we only have one waveform. That is like the weird, <laughs> the weird limitation of this. So you have all these options. You can do frequency of filter, of course, you can do panning, but you only have one waveform. But you can hear that it, it has a different rate. If we let, let's press one, one key here. Then we add another one. And it's super fast. <laughs> I find this quite interesting. Okay, so we also have possibilities for um, a chorus, so we can enable that. Off now. Let's do on. Yeah. There's a lot of other things we can do here. We can do um, uh, a lot of different velocity things, but as you can see here from the panel, but we're not going to do that right now. This was just a sort of um, a, a brief look in uh, in what you can do with the analog parts of the uh, Emu Emacs. Uh, okay, so that's it from me for today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>